<clears throat> Rich kid won't tip pizza boy. He lives to regret it. What is he spitting his pizza? Hey there, that's gonna be fourteen ninety two. Ah uh, yeah. Mom, I need twenty bucks. Thank you, tier one spaceman and the resub Jared and Brandon. There you go. Thank you. And here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? Oh I boy. I, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple, or I could also go back to the store. I'm not gonna do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely. I'm just gonna need to. Isn't that what he just offered to do? Yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is gonna make me pay for it if I don't. Thanks to resub low bones and ghost. Here. And hurry up. I'm starving. For sure, I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry about. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, weirdo. Did you leave him a nice tip? No, I didn't even pay him. The moron put pineapple on my pizza. True. To get me a new one. Okay, Derek, we don't call people that. What? He's a delivery driver. <laughs> How hard is it to get a simple order right? You know, most jobs are harder than they look. You would know if you ever had one. Jesus Christ! Besides, it probably wasn't even his fault. I don't care. All I know is he better get it right this time. <sighs> yeah, you fucking showed him. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe your mom's gonna give you a Beamer for your birthday. Yep, we already ordered it. I got the metallic blue, just like that pick. Finally. Thanks to give some crispy. And thank you for the bit space, man. About time. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. I was running a little bit late because I had a pothole on the way over here. Spare me the details. At least you got it right this time. Great. Um, that'll be $14.90. This pizza's frozen cold. I'm not paying for this. Look, I'm really sorry, all right? I had a flat on the way over here and I had to run with my bike. You know what? That's just my fault. I don't mind paying for it. But you could keep it and just... Maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. True. What is he, a caveman? Get out of here. I call your manager and get back on your bike. Get the fuck out. Yeah. And don't hit that pothole on the way by. Or do. Serve me cold pizza. What I miss? He's about to face off against Rhino. Let's go. Suns in six. No way. Not unless Devin Booker actually learns how to play defense. Finally. Hi, so I double checked and I made sure it's pepperoni. Also, I, I, I took an Uber on the way over here to make sure that uh, it's nice and warm. Let me see. What a nice guy. Get the fuck out of here. Nice guys don't win, weirdo. Chitney. What do you mean? Each slice usually has three pepperonis on it. This one only has two. Oh, uh, I'm sure that just varies from pizza to pizza and they would never intentionally do that. You sure you didn't eat my pepperoni? No, I, I would never. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, I guess. There's 20. Thanks. How much change would you like? I'll take five back. Ooh! But the total comes out to be 1492. I know what the total is. Just beat his ass! Let's go! You should feel lucky you're getting any tip at all with how bad your service is. You're right. I'm really sorry about it. Yeah, but you feel like a boy's crack. But you feel like an idiot. That's what you get for delivering pizza three times to some fucking loser. Did you just slam the door? Should've just thrown the pizza place? on the floor. Uh, and then pee on him. Yeah, but he deserved it. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Especially after he worked so hard to get your pizza right. Well, if he would have just done it right the first time, he wouldn't have to keep coming back. <sighs> you see, that's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You think everything is so easy because you've never had to work hard. And whose for fault anything? is that, Mom? You literally still Mom, breastfeed my me. Friends are here. Can we just talk about this later? No, I think they should hear this. Well, you're sitting here watching TV all summer and complaining about how many slices of pepperoni. Watching TV is so cringe. Learn how to play a video game. Hard. 
It's like a real, real man. It's easy for you to ask me for money, but it's a whole lot harder when you have to earn it yourself. Maybe you should get a job delivering pizzas so you can see how it is. <laughs> yeah, like that would ever happen. Thanks to the resub, Carl. Hey, Carl. Thanks to the resub, man. And thanks to the tier one King Tree. I am serious. You don't know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. It's real funny, Mom. Anyway, back to the game? No. It's either that, or I take away <clears throat> your PS5. That's fine. There's no games on it. Allowance, and don't need it. You won't be getting a car for your birthday. It's all right. You Girls don't do ask that. me out anyway. Well, I will just call the dealership and tell them I changed my mind. So, what's it going to be? You can't lose that car, bro. Yeah, you're getting a Beamer. That's like, insane. Does anyone get excited for a Beamer besides just like, Fine. ultra douchebags? Get a job for a month. <laughs> like, I've never heard someone be like, oh my god, it's a Beamer! We'll see you oh, oh my god! Week. Derek reluctantly agrees to get his first job. A few days later, he starts working at a local restaurant. He's a prime. His Canabs first assignment the Golden Blues. is to deliver pizzas. Things seem to be going fine in the beginning. That is, until he starts to deal with rude customers. They get upset about him getting the pizza wrong. Oh my god. How long it took to deliver. Or bringing cold food. Even though none of it was Derek's Well, it's fault, Pizza Hut. It's probably better cold, Derek to be honest. Derek finally understands or on the ground, how difficult really. it is to have a job. The fuck is that? Hey, honey. How was work? It was alright. I just got home. Aww. Well, I have to say, I am surprised at how long you've lasted. Are you hungry? I'll fix you some supper. That's alright. I ordered us food. I got enough for both of us. Okay, great. Uh, how much do I owe you? Like the tier one dragon pit. On me. Wow. Why would the pizza guy even deliver to this house again? Hey, I got your, uh... <laughs> Why would you do this? Pizza? And don't worry, I double-checked it this time, so... This says pineapple on it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a 20. Oh, that was a good joke, <laughs> asshole. Thanks, man. Really? I know how hard your job is. I felt really bad about the last time. Sorry about that. Thanks. Really means a lot. Have a great one. Oh, how sweet. It's Five dollars for dealing with this Derek fucking here. asshole. Thanks, Mom. Now let's eat. Oh, and I was thinking. Don't tell me you don't want the Beamer anymore. Now you're going way too far. I was just thinking maybe black instead? Oh. Yeah. I think black would be nice. What? Is blue the color of hey, greed or something? Like, what is it? You think I could be in it? I don't understand what was wrong with the, the blue. TikTok prankster goes too far. Eh, sounds like shit. Twins get caught cheating on a test. Oh, the Stokes twins! Wait, weren't these the guys that got arrested because they did the fake robbery? Like, uh, they pretended to rob a place and called an Uber? Wow! Let's go! Look how far they've come from jail to Darman videos. Oh, hey, fr oh, hey, Fred. Come say hello. Hey everybody, it's nice to meet you guys. Fred is our newest janitor here. My mother taught me to always treat the janitor with the same respect as you would the CEO. Hey, Anyways, you Pizza Hut. Rene Descartes is best known for creating which Is that true, Zanasta? Technique. How about Roy? Uh, hello, can you hear me? I guess I can. Tell me which math did Descartes create? Uh. It was in last night's reading assignment. You did do your homework, right? Maybe he just doesn't remember. Yeah. Great. Then tell me about Descartes. Um. He said, "I think, therefore I am." Could you? Could you actually give me a quick second? I'll be. 
I'll be right back. Uh, oh, okay. Ron, Ron, I need you now, please. Why, what for? Look, you still remember everything from philosophy last semester, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect, switch with me, switch. What, what are you talking about? Just put this on. I need Maybe you to answer the question with me. I'll, I'll explain shooting? everything later. The professor's already waiting. Hurry, hurry. You could just look it up in the fucking textbook real quick faster than this. Hair. This is dumb. Shoot. Oh, right here. Oh, put this on. This is a stupid okay. plan. No. Oh Sorry about that. Nice hat. So, tell me about how Rene Descartes invented calculus. Uh, I can't. And why is that? Because Descartes didn't invent calculus. Godfrey oh, did. wow. Descartes invented analytical geometry. That's correct. You did do your reading. Good job, Roy. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. <laughs> but before I forget, since things are starting to open up, I've decided to we have did my it. final exam in person this Friday. It's worth half your grade, so make sure you study. Sounds like an awful teacher if one exam's worth half your grade. Dude, you're a genius. Thanks. But hey, if you don't notice stuff, how are you going to pass the final? Uh, how do you think? <laughs> All right, but you're gonna owe me big time for this one. What? No, I'm pretty sure that makes us even. Not even close. Hey. Come on. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, boys. You have to cover my. Your exams are seventy percent of your grade. You're out of your mind. I'm not doing that. You should just drop out. It sounds like part. shit. You both know if you don't pass, you have to take the class. Fucking trash. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. But I'm telling you right now, there's no way I'm wearing a tie. What are you two talking about? You better not be thinking about cheating again. It's just philosophy, Mom. It's not like I'm going to use anything I learned from that class ever hey, again. Hey, thank you, Deoxys. Oh, did I tell you my That's very true, though. 100% he's right. And they're letting me bring a plus one. Really? Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I'm taking that spot, Mom. I'm not worried about Mexico. What I'm worried about is dishonesty. I always tell you boys, if you cheat, then you will never get ahead. Everything's under control, Mom. True. <sighs> they scored on us. Yeah, but that wouldn't have happened if you were playing goalie like you were supposed to. Ronald! Sorry, I didn't even see you there. You changed your hair. Maybe it's your one, Gabe. Looks good. But what are you doing here? What do you mean? This isn't your office. Did you forget you swapped with Timothy last week? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Duh. It must have been like Timothy a just has a giant headshot thing. of himself on his desk. Hey, Tim. Pictures look good, man. My office. You don't have to apologize for anything. Office. Hope you're doing all right, though, Ronald. Miss. Y yes. This is your office? Oh. Uh, yeah, of course. Sorry about that. Don't forget, tomorrow at 1 is the big presentation. We've got a lot at stake here. Presentation? So what? Are you Exams are more important than a job. Been acting a little strange. Yeah, of course. I just didn't get much sleep last night. Thanks, the resub oh, slap. Well, you make sure you sleep tonight because we can't afford a mess up. That would be really bad. Thanks, the resub vice. You have a presentation tomorrow? When were you planning on telling me this? <sighs> Shoot, I forgot about that. Hey, well, he's it's fine. Sounds like a I'll shitty employee. Tomorrow. I don't know what to say. How, Ron? My finals tomorrow, at the exact same time! You know what? Don't worry about it. Timothy's leading the presentation anyway. Are you sure? What if they start asking me Why would questions? you sacrifice your job just because your dumb twin you're is too lazy to study for a useless philosophy this. exam? All right, fine. I'll just throw away my job, I don't care, I'll help you. Bags? Our flight's tomorrow night. That's a good idea. Oh, Roy. Are you hiding something? What? No. Why would you say that? Because you look like you're wearing a disguise. <laughs> Thanks, the Prime Garden Gnome. Please. 
glasses to. There's something different about you. There is. Much more confident. Take off your hat. <laughs> Look at this idiot! Ha. Stupid, dumb hair. I'm sorry. It you looks see, dumb. You changed you your look, hair. Yeah, you look dumb. I knew there was something different about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. And it looks good on you. Well, here's your test. These the five gifts, some Snowy. Good luck, Roy. Where are you, where are you going? Where, where, where's Timothy going? I. Uh, you guys got poisoned. Here you are. Oh, An assassin God. got to him. What happened? Timothy ate some bad oysters last night. He did? Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna need you to lead the presentation today. Me? What? Hope you feel better That's soon, Miff. Why not? You were with Timothy when you did all the research, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. You'll be fine then. Oh, there's our client now. Oh, oh so my god. Course. I would like to introduce you to Ronald. Nice to meet you. Ronald if you fuck up this presentation, Darman's gonna beat your ass. Uh, he's been preparing for this presentation for months. I, I have? Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed to blow you away. I am? Yes. I can't wait to hear it. Right this way. Okay. Darman's production studio is in such fucking full swing now. I still remember his humble beginnings recycling the same script he wrote Hello? five years ago. Yeah. Now look at Wait. him. Whole team of writers, multiple locations. Uh, I did? Yes, you did. I mean, uh, I, I mean, if, uh... I know what you did. You do? Yes, it's obvious. You were thinking about your twin brother. So you accidentally signed his name. I get names mixed up all the time. Oh, yeah, that's it. What a nice guy. Anyways, see ya. Hold on, Roy. You forgot to answer the final question on the test. I did? Yes. And it's a good thing I caught it, too, because it's worth 50% of your grade. What? <laughs> the fuck is... Janitor? Yeah. You know the one I introduced everyone to on the Zoom call last week. <laughs> A janitor's worth fifty percent of this dude's test, or uh, fifty percent of this dude's no, grade. Roy's gonna kill me when he finds out. What happened? <laughs> I tried to take the test and it's just. Yeah, you're fired yeah. too, by the way, idiot. I've got some really bad news. Me too. I got you fired from your job. Yeah, that'll do it. What? What do you expect? Me sick. I had no idea what to say. It was so embarrassing. Well, what am I gonna do now? I needed that job. I don't know. It's not my fault. I try to warn you. So you're blaming this on me now? Yeah, this I mean, it's, thing was your idea it's your fault. Place. Ronald is absolutely yes. dumber. He threw away his job to help you what cheat in true? philosophy. Oh, yeah, I, uh... It, it was significantly worse. What? Half the grade was based on knowing the janitor's name. How was I supposed to know that? Fred. His name is Fred. Oh, that's well, it's nice. It's too late now. Thanks to the recent board we're not going to Mexico anymore. Oh, that's well, nice. It's too late now. Thanks to the recent board we're not going to Mexico anymore. It's not like I was going to be able to go anyway since I have to retake that class now. Wait, what are three suitcases? Darman's coming. Food in the fridge. I'll be back in a few days. Where are you going? I'm going to Mexico. I bought a ticket to join you Thanks guys. Thanks to the recent Ray Guigui. Ray, Jesus. Ray Guigui. I guess Guigui. I'll be going by myself. <laughs> Thanks to the recent Spooky. Hope you're doing well. So you're just going to leave without us? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna ruin my vacation just because you guys messed up. I tried to tell you that if you cheat- We know, we know, that you'll never get ahead. Okay now. See ya. Bye bye. Or should I say, hasta luego? Take that, idiots. A hey, valuable Darby, lesson man. learned. What else we got? Adopted girl meets birth mom. Rich girl rejects skater boy. I was literally just thinking about that song last night. Darman must have been doing the same thing and he was like, ah, wait a minute. 
That's a whole fucking video right there. That's a lesson. That'll change a life. Boy kick out girl. Oh, boys kick out girl from school club. Boss kicks out a job applicant. Thanks to the Prime. Luca, Electric, and Tamago... Tamago Toto... Tamago Toko. I don't really like Super Nanny, to be honest. It's not that good. <clears throat> Let me see why they kick out the job applicant. Maybe he just wasn't Dad, so qualified. Hungry. Okay. Let's get you a hot dog. Steve! Hey, Ivan. Harold! Did you get us a hot dog? Are you still homeless? If uh, so, then no, you can't have a hot dog. Uh, never mind, I don't, I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Shut up. Uh, Too bad. I'm so sorry, sir. We're eating dirt again. So I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. Okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. No, you got it last time. Oh, thank you for the 15 gift subs, Corky. Can't ask you to do and it. And of course, I've seen the Leprechaun video. It's Thanks okay. to the Prime. I Loki and a Tier 1 B-Ball, man. It's better than being hungry. And I'm not Besides, sure, Ethan. Thanks for some sheeps. That the kindness you put out into the world thank you, Corky. Appreciate it. There you go. It's okay, take it. Don't do it, it's a trap. It's gonna blow up. Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate this. It's a fucking hot dog, and calm down. Giovanni's, and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Gio, Bro, that hot dog costs Ooh, five cents for him. Place in town. Good luck. And hey, if you want, Ruben can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> Also, thanks, Ivan, for the hot dog with no condiments. <laughs> Dude's just eating a fucking dry hot dog on a bun. Oh, I'm sorry. See why no one really no, goes uh, to his hot dog stand. I'm here for a job interview, actually. The owner, Giovanni's expecting me. There's a prime rate. for me? I don't know about um, that one, clapping cheek. Sure. Sounds actually intense. Like a serious story or sure. something. Thanks to the bitch, I'm Corgi. See you. Thank you to the 10 gift subs, Papa Payne. Thank you, Payne. Thanks okay. to the resub, Kimberly. Uh, I'm sorry, what's happening? Uh, Thank you, Payne. You know, we don't allow homeless people in the restaurant, right? I tried to tell him, but he says he's here for an interview with you. Uh, no. The applicant who I am interviewing used to run a Kitchland Star restaurant, okay? Yes, sir, that, that was me. I used to run Harold's restaurant. You see? Come on, you're telling me that you used to run a restaurant. Get real. Will you get rid of this joker, please? No, look, look, here's my resume. It's all lies, I bet. I've my whole life. I just ran into some hard times recently after my, after my wife passed away. That's why I look like this. But I promise, if you give me a chance. You know what? I can't believe that you would go so far as to make up a fake resume and a fake story just to get a job. You know what? What do you mean, just to get a job? Why else would you lie about those things? Like, what else are you going to get from it? A job would be the ultimate thing. Either. No, sir, please, please. I'm just trying to feed my son. Take a look at this restaurant. You see how busy it is? You have to wait weeks in order to get a reservation Maybe the here. 10 gift subs, Aether. Thank you for that. to where I am in life by being a fool. But I can do yeah. this. I really appreciate it, Aether. Now, before I call the cops. Okay. Hey, I got the job. What's up? We did it. Yes. And shut up. Fuck you. Don't remind me. Get out of here. Go live with Ivan, asshole. I'm really sorry. But I'm going to think of something. I promise. I don't understand. Why didn't they give you the job? You have so much experience. Well, let's just say they took one look at me and the interview was over. Look, I don't want you to think I'm not going to pay you back for those hot dogs. Harold, Harold, no, that is the last thing you have to worry about. Thank you for everything, Ivan. I'll be back to see you soon. I'm going to go throw myself off a cliff now. <laughs> Thanks, Ivan. Dad, you haven't eaten all day. What are you going to do? I, we, we don't need to worry about that. Hey, wait. Exit Prime, bro master. work for me? You said yourself you don't have enough customers. You don't need any additional expenses. 
Well, no, I, I, I can't pay your salary, but suppose you take a 20% commission for all the hot dogs that you sell. Won't be much, but it'll be something. Really? Nice. Oh, you get sub Ivanator? Yeah. And you know what? As a signing bonus, here's a hot have dog. That hot dog. Why don't you put some Gosh. fucking ketchup on that thing? I can't believe or something. That. Christ. Thank you, Ivan. That, this is why you don't have any customers. Oh, I know you won't. I believe in you. This is good. But I got a few ideas. We'll make these things even better. It's called anything yeah. else. Yeah, of course. I'm thinking onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, mayonnaise. The thing you. What are you doing here? Oh, no, wait. Don't tell me you actually hired this guy. Oh, I did. He's going to help me turn my stand around. <laughs> well, that is like adding water to a sinking ship. Good luck. Hey, thanks, buddy. Do you want a hot dog? Take this. When you finally go out of business, which you will, send your remaining customers over to me, Ed Giovanni. Okay. I will just leave that right there for you. Good day, gents. Hey, bye. <laughs> thanks, Giovanni. Can you leave that guy? Yeah, he's he's of Jess and Gray. Look, if you change your mind. No, 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 no. I stand by my decision. Looks good on you. Thank you. Feel good to wear one of these again. <laughs> I do need you to do one thing for me. What's that? You just run this while I quit. Let's make that guy pay for what he did to you. Make him eat his own words, all right? Harold is more passionate than ever to Yeah, what are you going to do with the hot dog stand, stand though? Around. It's in a terrible Using location. Years of experience the hot dog stand is outside of restaurants. No one's going to stop there. With new toppings and creating his own style hot dogs. When his son takes a bite, he can't believe how good it is. Harold then expands the menu to include even more items, including corn on the cob, burgers, and sausages. Some mooster? In no time, customers start lining up so excited to try all the new food. What? Why? The business <laughs> Why? starts to pick up. As word spreads about all the amazing new food at the hot dog stand, more and more customers start to come. So excited to what, eat. Like, how are they even food. finding out about this hot dog stand? Even a news reporter what? comes out to Jesus. a story what the fuck? about the man who went from being homeless <laughs> to being an amazing chef at this popular hot Jesus dog Jesus Christ, stand. it's happening so fast. Sure enough, the story ends up going viral. Causing enough, the story ends up going viral. Causing even more That's the homeless to guy. To the hot dog stand. No, look, he makes hot dogs. I, like and a circus then one freak. Day, Giovanni happens to pay them all a visit. Hey, what's going on here? What's, what, what's with this line? Oh, you didn't hear? That man used to be homeless, <laughs> but now he's running a booming hot dog stand. Food is incredible. It's, it's such an amazing story. What? Oh, I guess they are nutty hot dogs. My place anymore, huh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm again. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I guess you do know how to cook after all, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So people aren't going to your restaurant because they're getting hot dogs out here? It looks like you're doing something, right? But listen, I was thinking. I feel bad about how I treated you before, you know. And like uh, the Pepto why juice. Why don't you come work for me at Giovanni's, huh? Really? And I haven't seen yeah. that turtle. I thought you didn't want to hire me. Yeah, well, I, I, honestly, you know, things have um, gotten kind of slow at my place since you became the talk of the town, you know? <laughs> so, um, what do you say? Yes. What an upgrade from selling hot dogs. Oh, okay, never mind. My son thanks. says he likes uh, the, the corn and stuff. No, thanks. We're happy here. Okay. Whatever. You know what? Since I'm here... Why don't I try one of your hot dogs, see what all the fuss is about, huh? Sure, but, uh, you're gonna have to wait in line. You want me to wait? You want the, the Giovanni to wait in line? This is ridiculous. True. Get out of my way. We showed it. We're still homeless, hey, but How's we're fucking, we, we're crushing hey, it. Sales have exploded, man. Check it out. There you go. Oh. 
I'll tell you what. Why don't you just go ahead and keep that? What? What are you talking about? This is your money. Well, I did the math, and based on all the sales from the last couple months, your 20% completely covers the cost of the hot dog stand. So, congrats. That money's yours now. Damn! Really? Oh my god. I, I can't believe this. Thanks to Risa Cougar and the it's Prime. Change our lives. Adlwin and Tier 1 Sanji. Thank you, Ivan. I, I don't know what to say. Please, please. please five thank gift you. subs I've Loki. I've been able to open up two more hot dog stands because of all the money that you made me. Why would you open up more hot dog? You were just incurring more expense for nothing. I guess open up a fucking restaurant next. Kindness that you put into the world. <laughs> I it's bought 16 hot dog stands. One of them's right outside of a restroom at the ballpark. Thank you. Fine. Oh. Are you serious? It's okay. Clean it up and make some new eggs. What? Not oh. bad. He fucking did it. i watch one more. Is the resub dart? What else sounds pretty good? I'm thinking boys kick out girl from the school club. <clears throat> hey, thank hey. you for the 10 gift subs, Swerve, and I appreciate club. that. When did this start? Thank you. I wouldn't bother. I heard it's full of boys. Yeah, they probably won't even let you in. I don't know. Once they see how much I know about robots. I'm sure it won't be a problem. They're about to start. Let's go. How much can you possibly know about robots in middle school? Well, that about, about answers that. Robot. I just... Hi, you I'm play with so RC cars. Is this where the... Pottery club's in room 214. No, I'm here to join the robotics club. Nice, come on in. <laughs> you, a girl, <laughs> want to join the robotics club? <laughs> Get real. Let's beat her up! Mean. Oh, outlandish! can do anything boys can do. Shut up! Besides, I've been working with robots since I was five. Well, you think this is like playing with Barbies or something? You need real programming experience. Of course, I know HTML, Java, <laughs> in Python. Java. Python's like a second language. What uses Java, so huh? Besides RuneScape. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's awesome! Shut up! You use another program, Ruben. Look. Shut up! Simone. Even if you did know anything about BattleBots, which I highly doubt you do, there's no girls allowed. So get lost. Don't talk to her that way. Shut up. Yeah, you should be honored she even wants to join. Whatever. This is my club. So my rules. Like I said, the Pottery Club's in room 214. Now, if you don't mind... Thanks to Tier 1 Parker, and the gifts of Parker, and the resub Satan, and he works. You made a huge mistake. You missed out on your best member. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she's gonna beat them in the battle bots competition. Anyways. What's up, boys? Back to what I was saying before. I was so rudely interrupted. Okay, try now. Man, what the fuck? It's an RC car. What are you even doing? Uh, what's wrong with this thing? I don't know why it won't transform. You might need to start from scratch. Or exchange it for a new one. Yeah, we've been stuck on this for weeks. I'll be back. I'm gonna go use the restroom. I can't stand him. Someone needs to teach him a lesson. He's a he Sigma male. You're just intimidated by him. him. Right, Simone? Simone? Oh, sorry. Can you girls give me a sec? I'll be right back. Oh my god, she's gonna go fix the RC car. All you have to do is move around the, the iodes and diodes. Former, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be. Right now, it's hey, stuck David, the it's in the in the to prime we man. Get it to and Travis. And we've tried everything. You guys mind if I give it a shot? Did you guys just not read the instructions or something? Like, what do you, what do you mean? It's a fucking toy. Hmm. One of the servo motors might be off. Maybe this would be like the kill streak in Black Ops where they put like a like an explosive on it. If I had one of those, I could permanently fix it. But I really appreciate it, Crash Shock. Thank you, man. That should do the trick. Try it again. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Figured it out. What are you doing here? Oh my God! Oh, 
She's created a Gundam. Fix your robot. Does it look like we need any help? Nope. We're fine. Just go back to your table. Wait. I think she may have fixed it. Look. Yeah. Right. If we can't figure it out, she definitely can't. What are you waiting for? I said go. But I was just trying Girls? You're ruining my Dots. car. Not robots. Now scram. I can't believe her. I think she knows what she's talking about. Oh yeah. my god, right. you make me sick. How would how could you say that? He's being serious. Can I see the, I'll figure this out later on my own. Let's go. Boys, you won't believe this. When I got home yesterday, it started working. Save the prime chicken. I think I finally figured this out. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Simone figured it out? What are you talking about? Hey, I brought my soldering gun so I could. <sighs> what are you doing here with a How fucking soldering that? iron? The battery club is that way? Wait, wait, wait. It's a fucking Just robot for a boy. Chance. Leave me alone. Yeah. She's the one who figured out how to get it to transform. Ha! You really think some girl would be able to fix something we couldn't? Ugh, you should really get off your high horse. And she can do way more than you could do. Yeah. Could she beat she me in a fight? She even wants to join your dumb club. Hang on. Look, I don't want to argue with you. Good, because I'd win. I know how to build robots. I've read Reddit. Jesus Christ! It's a Mega Sex LR. <laughs> a unicorn? So typical. What do you mean? Listen, the whole point of this club is so that we can build robots that fight and win us tournaments. <laughs> Your little sissy. What do you mean? What? Is as fight useless what? as you are. <gasps> Just forget him. Let's go. Well, beat his robot in a fight then. Prove it. Just give me a chance, please. My vote is yes. Shut up. Yeah, mine too. They don't. Same. Uh, this is my club. Fine. I'll give you one chance. If your little girly unicorn can knock down my transformer. If your little girly unicorn can knock down my transformer, I'll let you in the club. But if mine knocks yours down, you never bother us again. <laughs> hey, mine isn't meant for fighting. At least let me make a new robot. <laughs> what is it meant for then? You made a she robot that doesn't fight? She's making excuses. You're dumb. Already. And you make me sick. Scared. The pottery bar, uh, club is that way. I think it's gonna sub swift. So it's just gonna be two out of three? Or forget that. First one to get a knockout wins. Ready, princess? <laughs> <laughs> Mark. This is fucking awesome, Dang. actually. I want to play. He's got a machine oh. gun on it. Two turrets mounted. Fucking blasting. I told you I fixed it. Now I'm ready. Go! Oh my god! Watch out, the Power Rangers are coming right at him. Oh my god! That was too easy. That wasn't fair. Mine isn't meant for fighting. And well, you didn't even make a robot. That was because I fixed it. Wow. And you're a sore loser. See, this is why girls don't belong in robotic clubs. He does, he's, clubs ma he's making a good point. Now. Very sore loser. This girly crap and get out of here. Come on, please just. You lost the bets. Now go. What kind of tournaments do they Can enter I see with that? How a robot transformed. That was so cool. Who does he think he is? I the captain of the robotics, robotics, robotics club. club. Were you not listening? Yeah, just for girls. What do you think, Simone? If we do that, then it makes us no better than they are. We need to be inclusive, not exclusive. Can you have two robotics she club? Is that allowed? Point. Okay, so then. Seems ridiculous. Two robotics, club two robotics clubs. Everyone join. Just not them. Hmm, there has to be a way to... Thanks the Prime. Particle? Actually, I just got a better idea. Where are you going? I've got work to do. I'll see you girls tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. 
and check this out. Oh my god! That robot wouldn't be anything special if it wasn't for Simone. Exactly. Where is she anyway? Oh, there she is. She comes in with like an actual fucking mech. Like a jetpack and everything. Alright, Paul. Meet Dino. My new robot. Oh I my it's gonna eat his fucking you ass. To a duel. Oh gosh. Not you again. We had a bet. And you lost get some fall in your Vegas. And square. We both know that was far from fair. Well, you shouldn't have agreed then. True. That's your fault. That is a good point. I'm not battling you again. Oh, what's wrong? Are you scared? Oh my god. Oh my god, she did not say that. Paul, don't let her fucking say that. Are you fucking kidding me? Looks scared to me. He Shut up. He doesn't want to lose to a girl. It's impossible. My calculations confirm that I could never lose to a female. Fine. But this time, when I beat you in front of everyone, you have to promise that you'll stick to playing with dolls. And leave robots to the boys. <laughs> and if I beat you, I take your place as president of the robotics club. Ha! Like that would ever happen. You got a deal. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be gonna nuts. Be yeah, better than watching BattleBots finals. <laughs> you got this. Enough. Hey, wait, what's what's up with that? Why I say that? That's kind of mean. First round knockout wins. Just so the there's prime. No question who the best is. Highly in the recent deck sponged. Round one. On your marks. Set. Does hers even transform? Because this is absolutely just store bought. This is cheating. She just bought this from the store. He's winning, he's winning. I can't tell. What's happening? Oh! Got you. Yes. Nice job. Oh my god. Whatever. I was going easy on you. Just wait. Yeah, he didn't even transform that bitch. Yeah. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> the music is great. Who did the score to this? Hans Zimmer? Now you don't stand a chance. We'll see. Round two. Ready? Go! Lazy reset with Chickler. Walmart Dinobot! Let's go! Oh god. Told you. It's okay. There's still one round left. You can do it, Simone. Final round. Ready. Set. Go! Hers is gonna transform too, I bet. And this time, it's got a grenade. Uh oh. I've got you now. So fast. <gasps> oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> got you. I can't believe it! Simone that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> I knew you could beat him. Thanks. I don't understand. I didn't know those missiles could actually fire. What do you mean? It's a fucking you toy from Walmart. Just girl. read the instructions, you idiot. Girls can do anything boys can do. God damn it. I Make me sick. Right. So, now that you're president of the robotics club, he's handling this very does well. Mean you're kicking me out? Yes. Uh, I am. And I'm having my assassin bot kill you, no. so it's your fault. I'll let you stay. And I'll even show you how to add your own missile launchers to your robot. What? Are you serious? That's an illegal modification. How it works is. Welcome to behind the scenes. Wow. Hi. 